In today's video, I am working through the self-publishing checklist in my book companion journal and I am hoping to knock out a bunch of these things that I have to get done. The release of my Christmas novel is rapidly approaching and I still don't have a cover. I haven't hired a cover designer. I don't have the cover fully formatted. I don't have the edits completely done and I need to order another proof. I mean, there's a lot that I need to do. So I am working through that right here in this vlog. And if you find yourself in a similar spot as me, that you need a little inspiration to get to the next level, to get your novel finished, then I hope this video does that for you. It inspires you and it motivates you to get going. So without further ado, let's jump into the vlog. So the first thing I did is I pulled out my book companion journal, the revised version that is up right now. I had been working for this novel off of an old version. So the new version has a self-publishing checklist that I didn't have in the new one. So I really wanted to use it. So what I ended up doing is I printed the check list so that I can glue it onto my current journal that I am using for the Christmas novel because I didn't want to start a brand new journal when all my information was on this original journal. So that was easy enough. So after I glued it, I ended up going and just checking off all the things that I still have to do. So I already finished the first draft, obviously. I sent it to my critique partner. I already received it back from my critique partner. I edited everything based off her critiques. I did not send it to beta readers this time around. I did hire an editor and I did receive it back. And obviously I made all my edits based off of her feedback. And so that is already completed. So I'm happy about that. And I did not send it to her for a second round of edits. I didn't think it was necessary. So that's why I'm checking or crossing those off. I did write the blurb and I also wrote the copyright page. I didn't have to purchase ISBN numbers. And that is basically where we are right now. There are still a few things that need to be done, but we'll get through that in this video, some of it. I've already proofread the novel and I have made some changes, but I am halfway through. So we are starting the video at page 220 and luckily I do get through it. So that is a spoiler alert, but I am so glad that I was able to just get this done in the few hours that I actually sat down and focused on the edits. So the process right now is basically just going through the manuscript and transferring all the things that I found on the proof, transferring it on to the manuscript just to make sure that everything is nice and tidy. Sometimes I had to change some things. Sometimes it was little simple edits, but right now, like right here, there was something I needed to fix big time. And I was just like brainstorming, just trying to figure out how I can make these changes. And I ended up stopping for a minute and talking to my husband about it because I had read the manuscript to him. So he knows the book very well. And we were just throwing back some ideas and I figured it out and it all worked out, thankfully. This is when I realized that I had made a lot of progress and I was going to be able to finish all the edits today. So I wanted to really time myself. At this point it was four o'clock and I just had just a little bit more pages to go through. So that was good news for me. Thank you. 
I was done, I can see that I'm on my last page here and it didn't take me very long at all. It only took me about 15 minutes to get through it and that's it. The next step on the process to get it completed was to start formatting the novel. So that's what we're gonna jump into next is formatting my novel. So the first thing I did is I fixed all the chapter headings and at first I thought I wanted to name the chapters like this completely written out instead of using the number but I did change my mind I even though I did the entire manuscript I changed it to the actual number instead of that I also thought I might want to insert a picture in each of the chapters but I also changed my mind I ended up getting a font a Christmas font for the chapter headings that I totally love because now it looks so Christmassy without having to insert a picture as you can see here. Next I needed to find a font that I liked for the subheading which is just basically the chapters naming whose POV the chapter is from but I settled on this font and I love it. Next I wanted to do the drop cap and for this one I ended up with a larger size at first and then I changed my mind and I made it smaller and added more spaces and at the end I really did like the way it turned out but it took me a long time because instead of just doing it a couple times a couple chapters and seeing how I liked everything I ended up doing everything from chapter one through the epilogue and realizing that I didn't like it so then I would have to go back again and change it again. Additionally, I don't show it here but I ended up at this point I, the entire manuscript was like 413 pages and I ended up making everything smaller and now it's 353 pages. So it's not quite as big as it was when I initially did it. Now I'm just going through making sure everything is exactly as I want it before I upload it to KDP and order my proof. Everything pretty much looked good and I went ahead and did that. All right guys, it is actually a week later. I've been as you guys saw, I was editing and formatting and doing all the things and I did order the proof and it just got in the mail and I'm going to go get it. I'm so excited. Let's go. All right guys, a lot was done in this video and I just want to wrap it up because there were a lot of things that I did that I didn't mention at the beginning. There were a lot of things that I still have to do. So I just want to, you know, just wrap things up. So at the time of recording this video, it's like a week later, I did design the cover and I think it looks amazing it looks really good i'm really happy with it the first go around as you saw i did receive the proof and i wasn't really happy with that cover and it kind of made me see what i needed to work on i needed to work on the color the colors and i needed to work on the the couple that i selected for the cover so it looks really cute now i am in love with it i also i had written the blurb months ago but I'm not really happy with it when I went to read it over to input it in the back of the book. I didn't like it, so I didn't actually get to insert the blurb in the proof. So that is my next project is I need to work on the blurb. So that's gonna be fun. I hate that part. Then I also need to add to the book, I need to add the author bio and a picture to the back. I also need to update the cover page, I mean the copyright page, because I do know 
when the pre-orders are going to start and I do know when the book is going to be released. So now I just need to insert those dates in the copyright page. And um, there was something else I wanted to do. Okay, so this is just for the paperback with KDP. So now to do it with the ebook i haven't really done anything with that yet because i want to i have to have the paperback obviously perfect and once that is done i'm going to read through again and just make sure that now everything is perfect my daughter is rereading it again making sure everything's good and i have one other person reading it just to make sure we're good and if all that is good then i'll go ahead and do the ebook and that'll be ready to go now i know that in a previous video i said that i wasn't going to be going all out that i wasn't worried about pre-orders that i wasn't going to do ingram but i am thinking of maybe doing pre-orders through Ingram and uploading to Ingram Sparks because I am obsessed with hardcovers and dust jackets and just doing all the things. So I am considering doing that. So if I do upload with Ingram, then that's a completely, I have to form, I have to download their template and I have to format according to their template. So that'll be a, another formatting issue but we i'm not 100 percent sure where i'm going with that yet so i'll keep you guys posted but yeah that was it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope it inspired you if you have any questions make sure you leave it in the comments below i will be on here after i upload the video to uh get back to you all your comments and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you check out this video right here until next time god bless you